you read the title VS Code or Visual Studio Code versus Code OSS. Now, if you're looking at your screen right now with a blank face having no idea what I just said, I'll give you a quick rundown. Visual Studio Code is an integrated development environment maintained and developed by the blue chip stock Microsoft. Oh, the boomer's dream, the boomer's dream. It is proprietary software, quite obviously, it is developed and owned by Microsoft, but I'll go into a bit more detail with that in just a minute. So you've gotten the gist of Visual Studio Code, but what about OSS? Well, OSS turns out to be the foundations of which Visual Studio is built upon, and just so happens to be open source software. I'll personally be referring to it as OSS, but its actual name is Code OSS with the OSS being an abbreviation to open source software, if you didn't get that. Because Visual Studio Code is indeed proprietary, its source code is not available to the public on platforms such as GitHub. And as I just mentioned, because OSS is open source, its entire source code is available to view and download from the official Microsoft's GitHub page. Even though the fully featured and industry standard IDE that is Visual Studio Code is indeed built upon this seemingly bare bones open source IDE, OSS is indeed also a fully featured integrated development environment like Visual Studio Code and has support for the entire list of extensions that are available for Visual Studio Code as well as being able to choose from a variety of different themes. So all your extensions from C++ to Python to HTML, syntax corrections and everything in between, they're all available for OSS. It's exactly the same extension list on OSS than it is for Visual Studio. The installation of Visual Studio Code is a lot easier when compared to the installation required for OSS. For the average user anyway. Visual Studio Code comes with a binary installation from Microsoft, which is just a simple click and run executable in the case of uh, Windows, and a .deb or .rpm binary for the superior Linux boys out there. Whereas OSS requires a full build from source, I, I use OSS that I built from source and it really doesn't take too long. It, it took me about 20 minutes with a quad core. So, don't be too concerned with that if you're going to install OSS as opposed to just using the binaries with Visual Studio. The binaries are easier, but installing uh, OSS from source isn't, sorry, building it from source isn't too much of a pain. The usage of both of these IDEs is very similar, if not exactly the same. For me personally, I use both VSS and OSS on a pretty regular basis. OSS was easier for me to install onto my host system, so I use that at home, while Visual Studio has seemingly cemented itself as the industry standard for both education and the workplace, so Visual Studio is my go-to while attending college. And while the formatting and usage of both of these integrated development environments is extremely similar, as I stated uh, just previously, I have found some differences with them, though they might be dependent on the types of extensions installed. One of the main differences that I've found between OSS and Visual Studio is that while I'm writing code in any language uh, inside of OSS, there seems to be a significantly smaller amount to no syntax correction on part of the program. Whereas with Visual Studio Code, there's always seems to be a plethora of syntax autocorrection and sentence completion tips to the point where I find myself trying to find an off button for them. So yeah, all things considered, other than the syntax correction, they're exactly the same, at least from my point of view, and I've used both of these for about six months now, so if the only difference is syntax correction that I've found, I think they're pretty similar. Anyway, what the hell's the deal with Microsoft seemingly having two of the same code base? Why bother? Well, from what I've managed to find, it seems like the deal with both OSS and Visual Studio coexisting seems to be down to the same way quite a few other projects operate too. Some examples being Google Chrome being based on Google's open source Chromium project or Oracle JDK being based on Oracle's open source appropriately named OpenJDK. It's the same kind of thing, Visual Studio based on OSS, which is 
code, open source software. It's the same deal with Google Chrome and, and like I said, uh, Oracle JDK. To put it simply and not to further confuse anyone, mainly myself, it's all to do with the licensing agreements and how the projects are distributed to end users and companies. You can't charge a fee for companies to use a fully open source project under that that's under an MIT license that's the license OSS is under all in all there's very little difference for the majority of end users between the two if however you are seeking Visual Studio code open source alternatives that is free of Microsoft's dirty mitts you might want to check out a project by the name of VS Codium it is essentially OSS without the inbuilt Microsoft telemetry junk that they force into the program and from the information that I've read so far, that seems to be the only difference to expect. That seems to be the only difference, so expect a largely similar use case for it when compared to Visual Studio. That's a sort of quick rundown on the differences between the two programs if you've ever wondered. Now, if you're still watching and you've watched a video or two from this channel before, you might have realised that this significant time gap between this uh, upload video and the last one, and to that I... Firstly, apologise, leaving without a notice like that was really quite rude, and, well, I promise I won't do it again. That's about it from me. Apologies for keeping you. Look forward to seeing some videos in the future. I will try my damnedest to get some good stuff out for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did find it at least entertaining, listening to me rant on about integrated development environments of all things. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.